Hi, it's John Costa Mesa R&D. Today we're over by the Hone and we have a pair of spindles that one of my customers dropped off and he had them all chrome plated for his hot rod and now we're going to size them for some new kingpins. This is a job that just about has gone away with all the modern cars having McPherson struts and everything but there are still some of these cars around that have kingpins and we're a shop that can certainly handle this. So we're going to show you how this is done. Alright, I've pressed the new bushings in and have the oil holes aligned for the zerk fittings, which is really important. And now it's just going to be to run this back and forth about every four or five strokes. I'm going to swap ends, turn this over, so that we machine both sides the same. Even though the cone mandrel is made to do just that, we find in reality that we have to switch the part end to end. In the end, we want to have about a thousandths and a half clearance between the kingpin and the bushings. I also like to hone these to size rather than use a reamer because it gives me a little more control over the size that I wind up with. I generally see a two to three thousandths clearance when you ream these things out with the uh, reamers that they supply for this and that's just a little bit much if you're going to be running your car off-road and using kingpins which i see a lot of that in here with some of the buggies and some of the off-road trucks uh, we want to run the clearances a lot tighter than a couple thousand so those will run about a thousandths to a thousandths and two tenths I'm going to fit these by feel after you've done this as many years as I have you can pretty much tell right where you are. We're getting close. Well, if you have any questions about kingpins or other machining operations, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.